Well, it's time for another It's a Wonderful Lifetime interview, and joining us today to speak about his holiday movie, Candy Cane Candidate, is Jake Epstein. Hello, Jake. Hello, Noah. How are you? Doing great. Happy holidays to you. I'm a little green you and Grinchmas well. this year. I see it. I see it. Yeah, those eyes staring at me so deeply, but I, I, I do uh, enjoy the shirt very much. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. We were in Los Angeles a couple of days ago, so we have just been, we're all Grinchmas out. We're, I'm telling you, it's, it's green Grinch around here. So, you know. Right. No, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, your movie's a little sweet. It's a little sweet and nice, a little holiday lifetime movie, Candy Cane Canada. Tell us all yeah. about it, Jake. Yeah, it's a sweet little movie. Uh, it's uh, it's all about a, a politician named Julia who um, she loses a uh, an election for city council. She comes back to her hometown to see her family and friends and ends up through a series of circumstances in another political race against her former high school rival, Parker, mm. played by myself. Now, Jake, this movie deals with a run for mayor of a small town. Have you ever run for office in school? I did. I did. I was the, I was the class president in, in the fifth grade. Really? Uh, yeah. I had a very good, uh, funny speech. I had I had different people. I was lip syncing to the voice of a lot of famous people. Uh, it was kind That's of hilarious. look. It was pretty good, is what I'm saying. And I was actually the class president. I'm sorry. I was the valedictorian of my uh, grade eight uh, elementary school what? as well. Wow! Look at you. So, That's yeah. interesting. So yes. to. Yes. Remember those days in school to now having a role that's kind of similar. Did it bring you so, back to all those good times? Like, oh, okay, you know, like uh, a little bit. I mean, you know, certainly it, it was nothing like running for a real political campaign right. in today's climate. But uh, 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 certainly, yeah, it reminded me of sort of those those old elementary school days uh, of trying to win votes from your fellow classmates and all that stuff. <laughs> You know. Vote for me. I'll change the school for good. You know, like exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. you, you promise people like less detention or yeah. I don't remember what I was less promising. school There's hours. Everyone will get out. At yeah, noon, exactly. We'll know? start at ten a.m., not nine. Yeah, it yeah. Was a lot of like stuff I probably had no control uh, and to well, do. Jane, yeah. When I was going to school, like especially in high school, I think high school. I think it was even in elementary. They started school. I was like, why do they do this to young little kids and to middle school students and high school students? They would start like at 7.30 or 7.45 in the morning. I don't know if that's just a thing over here in Georgia or like... I mean, that's pretty early. That's actually yeah, awful, I'm like, terribly early. Yeah. That is so yeah. early. I'm like, uh, yeah. yeah, no, I was not a fan of that. I always would get up 15 because I, thankfully I lived like, you know, 15, 20 minutes down from where the school building was at. So I would get up like, try to get up five, 10 minutes before we would actually have to leave. I'm like, I don't want to get up at like at six in the morning for school Monday through Friday. God, that first class, everyone must have just been like drooling and half asleep. I Everybody can't even like, imagine. Yeah, totally but did you at least intense. finish earlier? Did you finish at like 2 p.m. or something like that? Because that we might would be get out like sweet. at 345. We would go like to almost oh, 4 o'clock. No. Oh, that's no, there's no advantage to that. What's, I'm so sorry that you went through that. Yeah. Thank, thank you. That's why I was homeschooled <laughs> at, at 12. I don't know why my family right. decided we're going to homeschool him in 12th grade. He needs, the very he needs last some sleep. Year. Yeah, for sure. You right. know, so I'm like, right. well, thanks. Now all the other 11 years were hell, but you know, thanks a lot, mom and dad. And, <laughs> yeah. Got through it. Anyway, so Jake, what drew you to this movie? What made you want to be part and, you know, just be part of Candy Cane Canada? Uh, well, I'll be honest. There, I mean, I think it was, it's a really heartwarming, funny movie. Uh, but one of the things that really drew me to the movie is that it's, um, it centers around a, an Asian family and mm. an Asian lead. And it has a, a love story between two young Asian men. And, uh, you know, and, and the movie isn't defined by that. It's, it, it's not sort of about that. Um, so, which is how it should be. So I... I really felt like, you know, with all these holiday movies, kind of representation is, look, it's a, it's a baby step, but it's a step in the right direction. And I was super proud to be part of a story like that. Has there been a moment so far, Jake, this year that you kind of have found yourself the most happiest despite everything that's been kind of going on in our country? I know, I know. It's, it's, it's hard, right? Just when you think everything is kind of fine and done. There's this new variant that's, I mean, yeah. I, I feel like this is the world we live in, right? It's, this is what, this is what's going to keep happening. So uh, yeah, I mean, when, you know, when, when COVID first happened, there were a whole whack of movie projects that disappeared for me. 
Um, I, you know, I got my first part-time job, not as an actor. Cause I, all of a sudden was like, I guess I have to do something else. Cause I don't know if movies are going to be able to happen again. I don't know if theater is going to happen again. Thankfully I was able to quit that job very quickly. What was your part-time job? It was embarrassing. I was awful at it. I, I got a job as a, as a transcriptionist cause I wanted to do it remotely. So I could just kind of no, I can't even tell you how bad I was at this job. Like, it just, just absolutely embarrassingly bad. And thankfully, you know, when numbers started to go down, I, I was cast. Um, I'm going to be in the, in the upcoming season of the Umbrella Academy on Netflix. Good for uh, you. There's a, there's a series of other uh, film and TV, project, TV projects that have happened this year, a bunch of Christmas mm-hmm. movies. And, you know, I'm, I'm super grateful that, that, that can still happen and look people are at home and want one entertainment right now so they do you know when you're sitting at home somewhere what are you gonna watch yeah so funny when we were shooting this which was of course during covid there's a scene um it's near the end of the movie and it's there's a there's a sock hop that happens at at parker's barn and it was you know everyone in the movie was obviously tested and social there was you know they're very strict with all this stuff but there was there was a bunch of extras and, and the full cast there dancing together at the end of the movie. And we shot it. It's like at four in the morning, we shot this scene and we just danced for like an hour. And I don't, I couldn't remember the last time I was around that many people uh, just, you know, and you can see it in the movie on screen uh, just like enjoying life, enjoying each other so much. So that, that was a huge gift to this movie as well. Oh, dancing at four in the morning, that would make me be dancing the robot with one eye open and one shut, Jake, but... Oh, my God. I, I would love uh, to see that, Noah. So yes. I would love to see it. Do it right... No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to do it right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I got very excited. <laughs> Everyone's got to tune in to Candy Cane Candidate with Jake Epstein. Premieres Monday, December the 20th at 8, 7 Central on Lifetime, part of It's a Wonderful Lifetime. Jake, you take care. You have a great and happy holiday, and Merry Christmas to you. You too. Thanks so much, Noah. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Take care.